Look at that meatball. I wish I could pretend like I didn't already eat a couple off camera, but here we go. Mm. What's up guys, welcome back. Football season is in full swing and one of my favorite game day eats is meatballs. Today we're gonna put an Asian twist on a classic recipe with these sweet and spicy sticky meatballs. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we gotta prep our meatballs. Today we have two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. We're gonna go ahead and mix these together real quickly. If you wanna use pork, you can. If you wanna use chicken or turkey, that's totally up to you as well. I would recommend not using the super lean stuff. Here we have one grated onion. We just used a cheese grater to grate this up. I like that because it breaks down better in the meatballs and you don't have big old chunks of onion when you take a bite of your meatball. We also have about a quarter cup of finely diced parsley. Now we're gonna begin infusing some Asian flavor to these meatballs with a little ginger, plus some garlic, about a tablespoon each. And right behind that, we have a little low sodium soy sauce and some sesame oil. About a half teaspoon of sesame oil. Don't wanna to go too crazy with that. And then about a tablespoon of soy sauce. For the seasoning, we have my original and hot all purpose seasoning. The hot has a little jalapeno and cayenne in there. So we're gonna bring a little bit of heat to the party. So just a little touch of that. We're also gonna add some beef bouillon powder to beef up the beef flavor. For a little bit more of a kick, just a pinch of red chili flakes and a little chili powder. Now, one of my favorite secret ingredients is this boars and cheese. Today we're going with this shallot and chive variety. About two and a half ounces of that, which is equivalent to half a pack. Let's get that in there. It's gonna add great flavor and help the meatball stay nice and moist. The other ingredient that's gonna add moisture to your meatballs is sour cream. We're going in with about two tablespoons of that as well. And now my friends, for the fun part, get in there with your hands and just fold everything together. Tons of delicious ingredients here. And then the sauce is just gonna tie everything together even more. We also have two beaten eggs we're gonna to add to the party along with some breadcrumbs to act as a binder and hold everything together. Now, once you start to see that the meat mixture kind of holds together when you lift it up like that, it kind of becomes one, you know that you got enough breadcrumbs in there. So I'm gonna pop that in the fridge, let that chill for a second, then we're gonna use our ice cream scooper to roll these out into about one and a half ounce meatballs. So just grab your ice cream scooper. It's gonna help them stay relatively the same size. That's what we're looking for right there. Place them on the parchment paper. You can pop that in the fridge, let that hang out a little bit before we sear them off and get them in the oven. This can be done the day before if you want to save a little bit of time. You can also use this recipe and swap out, you know, whatever sauce you want. This recipe right here is good for any kind of Asian style sauce you want to use. I also have a great meatball recipe on the channel already for a more traditional version of meatballs. Whether you want to go, you know, tomato sauce or like a barbecue sauce, we got whatever you need right here on the channel. All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and sear the meatballs now. We got our skillet nice and hot. To that skillet, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of avocado oil. And then we're gonna sear the meatballs on all sides and then get them in the oven to finish while we make our sauce. Meatballs fresh out of the fridge just to help them kind of hold together a bit.
Once the meatballs get some nice color like so, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. Looking good. So once your meatballs have a nice sear and crust on the outside, they're gonna go in the oven at 375 until the meatballs hit 165 degrees internal temperature. All right, my friends, it's time for the sauce. So today we're gonna do an Asian inspired, sticky, sweet, and spicy sauce. So we're getting the party started with two tablespoons of butter that you can see that I'm melting. To that, we're gonna add a half cup of low sodium soy sauce, followed by a fourth cup of brown sugar. We're just gonna work that together, get that brown sugar dissolved. That's gonna add a little bit of the sweet component that we're talking about. A couple other things gonna bring some sweetness. We got some hoisin. Find this at any grocery store right beside the soy sauce. About three tablespoons of that. I'm also gonna add this chili garlic sauce. If you got some sriracha, you can probably sell it for like 60 bucks right now, but if you're willing to sacrifice it, you can add a tablespoon or two of that to this recipe as well. Give that a good mix. Next, we're going in with a tablespoon each of garlic and ginger paste. We're gonna turn our heat to low now. A few dashes of sesame oil. And then we're going in with about a quarter cup or so of honey. Now I'm just gonna give that a good mix. Allow everything to come together. You can taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. If you want it to be sweeter, you can add more brown sugar or honey. If you want it to be spicier, you can add some hot sauce, sriracha, more chili paste, some red pepper flakes, things of that nature. But as this comes to a simmer, you'll notice that it'll start to thicken up a little bit more for you. Once the meatballs are just about done, we're gonna add them right back to this pot with this sauce. Make sure they're nicely coated and caramelized, and then we're gonna plate this up. All right, guys, once we have them plated up, in comes a little bit more sauce, because why the hell not? We're here for a good time, not a long time. Be generous with the good stuff, my friends. Then for garnish, we're going with a little black and white toasted sesame seeds, just for some presentation and then some dice chive. This is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. The only thing left to do is dig in here for the taste test, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. And now for the moment of truth, AKA my favorite part of the job. Look at that meatball. I wish I could pretend like I didn't already eat a couple off camera, but here we go. Mm. 